Hi there, we're uh, going to go through um, a very brief overview of Anton Sprint Mobile today and just give you um, a sense of what it can do for you. Okay, so here's the icon, so we tap on the icon and it brings up the, uh, the app. Um, just to briefly run through it, what we've got is a series of calculators. So first of all we've got the gas rate calculator, that will do metric, um, E6 metric and also imperial readings. Um, You've also got on here a pipe size calculator, all done to a British standard to help you um, calculate the diameter of pipe that you can uh, use on a particular job. Um, you've also got an energy converter, so various uh, units of measurement to various other units of measurement. Um, the next calculator we've got here is a ventilation calculator, so you can do room sealed. Uh, calculations, um, extractor fan, vent size, flueless, yeah, there's, there's all sorts of different ventilation calculators in there. I won't bore you with all the details but all useful tools. Um, in here you've got your settings where you can go and input your company details, your company logo, even things like your um, gas safe registration number so that that's all on the documents that you're going to create. Uh, we've got the manuals for the Evo which is the, the model here and we've also got the manuals or a user guide for the app itself um, all embedded into the app. Um, this is the interesting part from your point of view. Um, basically what we've got is um, this is where you control all your customers. So you click on the first icon there and this is where you would have your list of customers. These can be imported in from the phone or you can uh, manually enter them you know, one at a time as you're going around um, you know, visiting new sites. Um, once you've got a customer in there, we're going to choose a landlord here called John Landlord. It's a fictitious one we've made up. You can then choose a series of sites. So if he was indeed a landlord, this could be the three properties in his portfolio, and you can go in and, and select a particular um, a particular site. Um, so we're going to choose this one here, Rory Williams. Um, you can then go in and put in your appliance. So you can see we've got two appliances in here already. If you're working on a new appliance, um, you literally start typing in the location. So I put kitchen here. It will you know, it will bring up kitchen. The type of appliance it might be a, a central heating boiler, combi boiler. You select the one that's most suitable. Um, and again, the manufacturer. So uh, they're they're all embedded in the software. So let's choose um, you know, a Baxi, just randomly chosen. Um, and again, a model. Um, I start typing some things. There you go. Yeah, it's, it's all preloaded. If there's one in there that is a new uh, new model that you haven't got in there yet, start typing it, fill it in. Next time it will be in your list uh, to you drop down. Um, we've got a very clever scanner in here. I won't again demonstrate it today, but you can go in and actually scan um, the serial number on the instrument with a clever camera here, and uh, and that will automatically bring in the serial number, or indeed you can add it manually like I'm doing here. Oops, I'm in the wrong one. Well, anyway, you get the idea. It's very, very easy to uh, import a, um, a new appliance. The interesting bit is once you've got up and running, you're in your flue gas um, mode. I'm going to go and, because this obviously isn't a live, uh, I've not got this live on a boiler at the moment, but I'm going to go into a stored log, pull up a log. So here's a flue gas log. Um, what you do is once you've selected your customer, the site you're on, and the um, the appliance, you're now ready to take the data from the analyzer into the um, into Sprint Mobile. So what you do is you tap that button to make sure they're listening to one another. I've got the flu log here. I'm going to say um, yes. I'm going to select that log, hit the Bluetooth button, send data. Yes, please. And the data is instantly sent across onto the device. What this is asking for here is saying, do you want to set up a? Because this was a flu gas reading. Uh, it's saying, do you want to set up a calendar event? So in basically 11 months time it will bring up a, a, um, a reminder in your calendar to contact this customer to, to get some repeat service work so it's helping you to maintain um, you know, business for next year helping you to manage your accounts I'm, I'm not an engineer I'm just demonstrating this so I'm going to say no but if you said yes that would input that for you and so now that's taken all the information from the analyzer um, it's taken the serial number, the instrument, its calibration due date, the time it's done it, all the readings from the um, from the from the flue gas reading, um, and what that does that creates a. If I press the button here, that creates a PDF. We've obviously set it up with our company logo, but that could be your logo, all your company details, the customer or the landlord site, the uh, site address if different, the, the combination boiler that it is. Uh, and you know all the gas readings, and even got if you can see that it's got my signature, 
um, or a signature as the engineer. What's really clever is you can also then go in and ask the customer themselves. This is the tenant, Rory Williams, so he can sign on there. You can say thank you very much. And now when you look at the report, it's got the uh, tenant's details included. What's even cleverer, you can now email that on to, indeed we've pre-filled in John Landlord because we're in that customer. Um, and obviously there's some text in here that I've got on my particular demo unit. So you can email that that um, PDF, the signed PDF, straight to the customer, ask him for a payment, whatever it is you want to do next. Um, that's a very brief overview. I'm going to discard that. You can create um, landlord certificates, CB12s. There's all different types of um, certificates here. So you could choose to send several at once by email. It's very, very flexible. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what it's all about. And um, any more questions, please get in touch with us. Um, hit our website for more details.